set up for an easier workflow once you get to Illustrator. So once you're to this point, you got a, your object together, locked, and then your pieces exploded out, you're going to want to set up the axon view. So what you're going to do is right click on perspective, go down to viewport properties, hit parallel, and we're in an axon view now. So everything's going to an offset plane. Next, what we're going to do is take our polyline and we're going to start to construct lines in which it came from. And that's why we kept a locked layer so we can actually guide ourselves. We're selecting onto the same object, just creating guidelines for our drawing setup. Since these pieces were together, they go together. Obviously, you guys will take a lot more time at this because it's going to be a lot better. There we go. Next, what we're going to do is take all those lines that we just created. And what you can do is up in these little tabs up here, go to Select Tab, and you can hit the Curve button, and it'll select all of them. We're going to create a new layer and type in Guides, keep those separated, and change those over to there so we can keep our objects and layers separated. So after we have this set up, we're going to unlock our first object and let's lock our curve lines. And with this, we're going to type in mesh outline. And that's going to give us a hard edge outline of all the objects in a curve form. With this, we're going to create a new layer and let's just call it outline. And change that layer. We're going to do the same for all the different objects too. And just change the layer over to outline. Keep changing. And you cannot change your view because the outline will move with your view. Great. Now let's unlock our guides, select all of our objects, and make 2D. So what we're left with is if we select our outlines, look a little rough right now. So let's just delete those out. Let's go back to the view that we were in before, select our outlines again. It's just outline ones. Let's make 2D of those. Just be sure, let's change the layer once again and just move them into place. There. Next, let's export to Illustrator. And in 
Illustrator. Let's open up a new file. Great. Now let's open up our exported file. Now as you can see, all the layers are there. There we go. So, so it's on. Basically, typically what I do is change all these to black. We have our guides set up, so let's just put a dash line on them for now. Change the dash down to two. Let's go to our outlines here. Let's bring the line weight up with those. And then let's do that once more. And then typically what I have to do if I see where the object was cut on the main object, I'll darken up those paths. basically where there was a cut that we put in with our Boolean intersection. There we go. And another thing we can do is actually lock our outline. Actually select all our objects actually. Create a new layer. Copy it. And then holding control shift V, we paste into place. Let's move all of those objects into our new layer that we just created. And then let's lock all of our others. So now we're left with a single layer. One moment. Live paint bucket. Then we can go in and actually start to color pieces in. So let's flip flop these around. What we can do is start to paint in where they belong. This is a good way to add kind of a shadow on one side as well. seems kind of dark, so we'll just move that layer to the back. Let's turn down some opacity. Uh, perspective layers on. Basically, there we go. You're left with an exploded axon. Now, you're going to export or print a PDF. And we're going to do a custom and print. There we are.